what's up guys so i've been getting a lot of requests because this is the, this is it this is exam weekend so someone requested for the sorting videos and i i was feeling quite guilty that i couldn't have them up in time so yeah it's it's kind of late at night right now and i have nothing to do um not feeling sleepy so i i decided let me let me make those sorting videos right now so essentially what is sorting sorting is basically arranging a group of uh, um uh, not a group i was going to say a group of numbers but it can be anything arranging something in a particular order if it's numbers let's say an ascending or descending order if it's name let's if it's names let's say in alphabetical order so sorting is the process of uh, well you could define it as the process of arranging a, a set of data in a given order so once since you have sorting down let's say you want to sort an array of numbers 4 5 9 12 oops i kind of gave you all a sorted array my bad um i think i'm thinking a little too far ahead um let's say you have 5 4 13 2 So after sorting this in ascending order, you could get two five, two four five thirteen. I'm sorry, or in descending order three five four two. This is ascending. This is descending. Now, how would you implement these sorting techniques in Java? For sorting, um, in the syllabus, there's only two ways to do it. One is selection. And mind you, these are not the only two ways to sort a. particular like group of data but this is what's there in the icse syllabus and right now we we that's all we need to worry about for now but i would advise you to look up a few other sorting techniques so there's selection and there's bubble now i am going to go over selection in this video and say bubble in an, a future video because selection is relatively easier if you ask me now selection sort is i'm i'm just going to give you a brief in this video and maybe make a proper video of selection sort next and then bubble sort so what happens in selection sort is i'm just going to give you a demonstration of how i would selection sort an array of numbers so let's say i had 12 3 4 9 so what i would do is for selection sort i would pick this 12 first then i would compare this 12 with every other well array position and find out the the minimum of of these of 12 and these three so my minimum would be obviously like it's very evident minimum would be 3 now what i do is i switch that minimum with 12 so i switch 3 with 12 3 comes here and 12 comes here now since i've i've already looked at 12 i've i'm, I'm sorry since i've already changed 12 what i do now is that this 12 goes here right now the minimum is 3 Now I consider twelve again. Let's say the but now twelve it is at this position. It's at position one. This is zero. Everything is numbered from zero, one, two, three. So now I compare this twelve with the remaining two. Compare it with eight and nine. What's the minimum? The minimum is eight in this case. So what do I do now? I chop off this twelve. Rather I I I mean I remove that twelve. and here i have 8 and here i have 12 now i consider 12 again but this time the only remaining element is 9 and 9 is less than 12 so 9 is a minimum so minimum becomes 9 and the 12 and 9 again interchange places 9 comes here and 12 comes here so you have your sorted array 3 8 9 12 let's try another example 
This is one of the fundamental building blocks of computer science. So I really want you to understand the concept of a good sort. So I'm going to try, let's say, one, zero, seven, five, and two. So first, I look at one. I compare 1 to 5 in the minimum with all these, the, the rest 0, 7, 5, 2. Obviously my minimum comes to 0. Now what I do is I swap what's in the minimum with 1. So I have 1 here. So 1 and minimum get swapped. Swapping is basically exchanging their positions. So when I swap them, what I end up with is... 0 here and 1 here. Now I consider 1 again but this time it's at position 1. So all I have to compare it with is 7, 5 and 2. Here the minimum of course is 2. So what happens is I chop off this one and I'm sorry I made a mistake and this is a very good example of how everyone is human everyone makes mistakes I, I just realized I made a mistake because the minimum is not less than 1 2 is not fundamentally less than 1 so 2 will stay here it would move on to the next character because it found no minimum the minimum was 2 2 wasn't less than 1 so now it compares 7 now with 7 all it does is compare 5 and 2 and 2 is a minimum, in this case it is less than 7. So in this case what happens is 7 gets removed, here you have 2 and here 7 comes in where 2 is. And essentially it would make another check for 5 and 7 but since 7 is not less than 5, it's not a minimum, 5 would stay where it is and you would get an array 0, 1, 2, 5. 7 which is your sorted array now I want you guys to well dwell on the fact that I made a mistake because anyone can make mistakes it's, it's only human to do so so when you're writing code or when you're writing a program trying to think about a program if you make mistakes don't feel bad you, you'll always realize how it's meant to be done or something like that so that was selection sort in this video um, Hoping you guys are happy that I'm finally making this and I'm gonna have bubble sort up in a while. So have a good day guys, good luck for your exams once again.